lap. Last car on the lead lap now is Sterling Marlin, who had a bad... Oh, a bad fire. Sterling Marlin involved in a very hard crash up in turn number one. The car becomes engulfed in flame. He apparently backed into the wall and maybe the fuel cell. He's getting out of there. Out of boy, Sterling. Come on, babe. Get out of that thing. There you go. He is out, falling to the pavement. He's trying to crawl away from the race car. And at least he's out. Thank God for fuel for rubber gas tanks and, and the foam that's inside them that doesn't allow all that fuel to come out because that could have been a major, major deal. So you can see some of the Dale Earnhardt crew guys running out to assist Sterling Marlin as he walks away from the crash. We have a report that he blew a left rear tire as he went into that turn. And we were just saying that he was the last car on the lead lap. He was right up there in front on the inside when the green came out and had been dropping back quickly. And now the car goes hard in the first turn wall. But as you can see, he is sitting up and the safety workers are removing his helmet. Sterling appears to be okay. We'll be right back. What's left of the Maxwell House Ford, driven by Sterling Marlin. The car made contact with the wall in turn one and then erupted in a huge ball of flame. Here it is. We see him backing in the wall with a left front. And the thing, as you said, just erupts in a huge ball of flame. And I don't, that's not too much of a problem until the car starts drifting down and all the flames go back through the cockpit of the car. It had to get hot in there for him, but thank God Sterling got out of the car. And is now being taken to the infield care center. Here it is from another angle. You can see how much flame there was as the car slid down the banking. Let's go now to John Kernan, who's with Mike Beam. Mike, a very scary moment, but Sterling looks like he's okay. Yeah, he's gonna, he said he's gonna be okay. He burned his face a little bit, you know, but he'll be okay, you know. The guy's done a good job now, you know, got in that regular early. And, the car was off. You bet the house a little bit, trying hard, but, you know, he done a hell of a job. And, you know, it's just a shame because, you know, we thought we had flat, but he ran over something going in one. He just turned around on him, you know. So I just wasn't knowing what we could do. Well, thankfully, it looks like that he is okay. His face was just a little bit red, I saw, when he walked away to the ambulance. But I think that's a tribute to the safety factors that go into these uh, cars, gentlemen, what with the fire suits and everything like that. All right. Indeed, there isn't much left of the car, but... Nobody really cares about the condition of the car. Our concern is the condition of Sterling Marlin, and he appears to be not seriously injured. Back in a moment.